Are you new to electric vehicles or thinking about getting one? I'm Liz with Recurrent. I'm here to help you demystify all the electric vehicle jargon and show you that the math is not really that scary. One of the first pieces of advice that people get when they buy an electric car is to buy and install a home charging system. But like, what does that really mean? And do you have to rush out and buy some expensive equipment? Today, we're breaking down everything you need to know about home EV charging in a quick, simple, five minute video. Okay, so let's start with the basic. Home charging comes in two different types, level one and level two. That sounds really technical, but it really just means how fast they can charge your cars. Level one charging. This is the absolute simplest method. It just involves plugging your car into any old plug, much the same as you would plug in a toaster or a phone. No special equipment is needed other than the plug that comes with your car. Most household outlets in the US are 110 volts, and they usually provide around 15 amps. That means if you multiply those two together, it means that most standard outlets offer 1.5 kilowatts of power. Now, this speed is slow but steady. Think of it like filling up your backyard pool with a garden hose. It's slow and it'll absolutely work. For many drivers, level one charging is all they need. Okay, next up, level two charging. This requires special equipment that you need to buy and usually have an electrician install in your house. Level two charging runs on 240 volts, which is the same thing that you use for your washer dryer or your oven or a standard plug in the EU. Think of level two like using a fire hose to fill your backyard pool. It's gonna happen a lot faster. And for drivers who need their battery full or go more than 40 miles a day, a level two charger is pretty much a must have. Okay, but the real question is, how long does it actually take to charge your car? Let's say you have a battery that's 100 kilowatt hours. Now, this is a pretty big battery, but it makes the math really simple. Here's how it breaks down. At a 10 kilowatt level to your charger, it will take 100 divided by 10, 10 hours to fill your car. That's pretty much overnight. Now, if you have a faster charger, say 20 kilowatts, it will be 100 divided by 20, only five hours to fill your car. That's like a movie and dinner. Finally, what if you have a slower level two charger that's like five kilowatt? Well, 100 divided by five, it's gonna take you 20 hours to fill that car. That's more like a weekend snowed in. All right, as a bonus round, what about if we're using our level one charger to charge that same 100 kilowatt hour battery? That's gonna take you 66 hours. So really long time, but when you think about it, most people don't need to refill their entire battery that often. So if you're going 20 or 30 miles a day running errands, your level one charger may be fine. Now let's talk about what actually controls the charging speed. And it's kind of cool. There's hardware inside of your car. It's called the onboard charger, and it takes energy from the grid and converts it into a format that your battery can store. Now your home charging equipment also plays a role. You can buy faster charging equipment or slower charging equipment. Think of your car like a sponge. No matter how quickly you pour water onto it, there's a limit on how quickly the sponge can absorb the water. If your car's onboard charger can only accept seven kilowatts at a time, a charger that offers 20 is not really going to help you. You're still going to max out at seven kilowatts. Now, the average onboard charger these days is around 11 kilowatts, but there are cars that have optional or upgrades to 22 kilowatts. Now, if this is your car, upgrading your home charger to a faster setup can really help. If you're curious about your EV's onboard charger speed, you can check out resources that we have at recurrentauto.com, or you could just type into Google your car's name plus onboard charger speed and you should get the answer. Now, level two chargers offer more than just speed. Some of them have really nifty features like interfacing with your utility company to charge when electricity is cheaper or to have your car ready and fully charged by the time you're leaving or even integrating with your home electronic system like if you have solar or batteries on property. All right, so let's recap what we learned here today. Number one. There are two types of home charging, 
level one and level two, and they really differ in how fast they can fill your car up. Number two, level one charging just means plugging your car into a standard 110 volt outlet. Level two charging is when you need to go out and buy equipment and have an electrician install it. Number three, the main control for how fast you can charge is your EV's hardware. It's something called an onboard charger and it protects your battery. So whether you're plugging into the wall or going to fast chargers out in the wild, don't forget to like and subscribe for more EV tips. Feel free to share with your friends and drop any questions down below.